and welcome guys to another episode of wrong side simulations bringing you the best content from the wrong side of the airplane the right seat and as always my name is blake and i'm a real world flight dispatcher aiming to bring you a little more context to your flight sim viewing experience so uh i slewed this airplane over into this spot because this is not an official parking spot on the airport and the rat ram air turbine is uh out and that's not good because uh, I believe that might mean we're gonna have to restart I don't know let's see if we do this panel states cold and dark activate and the rat is still extended <clears throat> this has to be stowed by maintenance and I don't think there's a maintenance function in the McDo to stow the rat so not really sure what we should do let's see if we can figure it out Here, push back. Mm. And rat's still open. get that back in. Huh. <laughs> Maybe a quick Google search will help. Where's the? I don't think there's a way to stow it. We we'll have to restart the sim. I don't even know where the wrap button is. To be honest, It'll probably be on the electrical pay panel. No. All right. Well, I guess we get to uh, restart. fun stuff anyways to the chat <clears throat> chase hello my friend how's it going he'll be the gypsy long time no talk <laughs> Jay uh, this is not APR related nope it is not uh, just some couple airports that I've recently bought that I haven't flown to yet so we're gonna fly to them we'll uh, spawn here on the cargo ramp I was over here at the uh, FBO but as you can see there's no actual spots slewing the airplane over there is what caused our issue <clears throat> yeah so the the ram air uh, ram air turbine uh, is like your last ditch effort 
uh, if you need some electrical power. So in that case, you would have lost your um, engines, both of your engines. You would have lost your APU. And the last thing that you have is your rat. And the uh, air will spin that turbine and provide minimal uh, electrical power to the airplane. Um, while it's also shedding off like galley power and some other not important electrical stuff. Um, give you just enough electrical power that you'll need that you can hopefully safely land. Bear time, boys. Alright, let's try this again. We had a badass little intro, and uh, it was all for nothing. Had the airplane all set up, had doors open, window shades were down. It was all kinds of pretty. That's doing its thing. <clears throat> Get everything uh, imported to the EFB. This is some foreign airplane, so it's all kilos. So we'll get that squared away. Ground services, forward stairs. Get all that stuff. Some balance. Cool. Now that works. I'm gonna wait and load the airplane for just a few minutes. I'm not gonna dilly dally too long. I wanna be able to get both legs done. Gotta get them done in the next uh, about two and a half hours. seven minutes that's about how long it's going to take to uh, get the eight ears aligned and we'll get everything initialized Nav data is current. The net do the cheating way. Buffalo to Charleston, West Virginia. Flight number is going to be Phoenix 2541. Flight number cost index of 99. 310 on the altitude. Minus 36 at top of climb. Flight plan, Buffalo departing off runway 2-3. No, I don't know I'm typing that in. No SID, insert, ILS-5, no star, insert. So we'll depart runway heading and then we'll uh, RNAV straight to uh, JHW which is Jamestown. Secondary, we'll copy the active. 
We'll plan a hold. And we'll go compute it. Or maybe not. I wonder why I won't do computed. It's weird. RNAV, or uh, RADNAV, we'll leave that blank for now. Let's do wins. And then our trip pause is at 49,900 feet. Got that in there. Tabbing over our uh, planned zero fuel weight. It's 104.3. We'll do a standard CG of 30. Block fuel is 11.3. Taxi out, caught 0.5. No route reserve. No alternate. And our uh, reserve fuel is going to be 3.3. Cool, so that is all set. Start our initial climb up to 5,000. Let's get all these stupid lights turned off. Have our fuel on board. The seatbelt sign come on and the fuel pumps come on. Let's go ahead and do an APU test, engine fire test. Looks good. Engine one. And engine two. I like it. <coughs> Altimeter is going to be 2993. And that is set. Now we're just basically waiting on the eight ears to align and the airplane to finish boarding. Uh, we got 42 passengers. I don't know who the hell we're taking on this uh, ACJ. He's lucky ish. Whoever wants to go to Charleston, West Virginia. But uh, it must be nice to find a private airplane. Drew Stone, what is up, man? Welcome aboard. Had a little bit of a rocky start. But uh, we're going to get out of here in the next few minutes. HC portion is covering the different centers and such. Also flight levels in class airspaces. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, like class Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo airspace. All that stuff. <laughs> Pretty much don't have to know any of that in real world dispatch. Why don't we start closing up some of this stuff? Actually, let's go do a quick little walk around while we got some time. Just admire this pretty airplane. Not many options for ACJ type paint scheme liveries out there just yet. Now there's a, a guy that makes this <clears throat> spirit livery, and he makes the rims, if you will, uh, like black and dirty and grudgy. I wish more folks would do that. Cause it looks looks nice. And we'll carry our asses up to the airplane. Whoa! Oh, they're, they don't lock me out. I'm the pilot. They locked me out of the airplane. What the hell? Watch this. Ooh. Just jump on up in there. 
All right, aircraft is loaded. Why can't I get a load sheet? Oh well, we'll do it this other way. Whoa. Zero fuel weight's 115.4. That is way heavier than planned. We're planning 104.3. They got 115.4. Okay. We're going to be overburning on the gas, that's for sure. Uh, 115.4, 26.8. On the perf. Get all that stuff thrown in there. Taking off only five. It is dry. Optimal flat config. No toga. Any ice off. Packs will be on. Takeoff weights 126.2, planned was 115.1. Yeah, that's a pretty big difference. Realistic though, I'm, I've seen it quite a few times that we are end up being heavier than planned because uh, like a flight canceled and they moved some passengers over, something like that. Calculate, let's get that APU going. <coughs> Zero One up 0 0.5. I'm not sure why it's not sending any uh, load sheets. I'm thinking it might be because Simbrief was originally in pounds and the airplane was originally in kilos. I swapped it, but it's still not not doing it. All right, we're flexing 67. And let's see, our uh, V-speeds is 18, 29, 29. Perf is set. Flight director's constraints are all on. We'll get our VRs, VORs on. And even though this is a private flight, we'll shut the door so we can have some privacy from all the fancy folks in the back partying and whatnot. O2 is good. We are late, nine minutes. APU is on, so we'll get the bleed on. External power, GPU, PCA, get all this stuff out of here. And I guess we'll push. Okie dokie. I saw a name. <coughs> Shaq, what is up, dude? ACJ, that means there's water out on this bird. 118 on the ramp out here. Oh, my God. That is beyond hot. Alrighty. Um, before start, checklist. Maintenance log and tail is onboard and check. Cover preps complete. Gear pins, covers are removed. Signs are on and auto. Eight ears are now. Fuel requ min required is 9.9. .9. And we've got 11.3 uh, on board. Altimeters. 2993 is set and EFB is checked. Now let's get the rest underway. Cool. Before we start below the line, windows, doors, and slides closed and on. Beacons on. Thrust levers are idle. Parking brake is on. Transponder is in auto. Before we start checklist is complete. All right, let's get out of here. hit the right button. Roll in the block and roll in one. Brakes are set. Alright, so we'll probably just back taxi instead of 
crossing and all that. Nah, we'll, we'll cross. We'll need the time to run some checklists, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Dude, I bet. If it was 118 on the ramp, I'm just going to, I'm just not going to share the cuss words that that would make me <laughs> want to say. I complain about uh, how hot it is out here the five seconds I have to step outside to let the dogs out. Oh, now we get a load sheet. 115.4. And 26.2 is our MAC toe. Alright, one is started. Rolling two. <laughs> this should be a pretty interesting uh, approach. Charleston, West Virginia is basically on the top of a cleared out mountain. It's a pretty short runway. Can't remember exactly how long, but it's not the longest. Don't think you would probably see too many Airbuses landing there, but actually, I think my airline may have flown there for a few. I don't know. Can't remember. We're gonna try something on. <clears throat> it never really turns out super great when I do this, but we're gonna try some cinematic shots. Oh wow! Uh, the wind is completely different from what Simbrief planned for. So now we gotta go down there. So we're only two three. So we'll put that in there. Oh, wait. We do have that in there. Never mind. Why was I thinking I was taking off five? Oh, because we're landing on five. See how easy it is to get confused? All right. <clears throat> After start flow, engine mode selected from normal. Arm the spoilers. Reset rudder trim. I'm having to use my mouse because for some reason my TCA um, flap axis is getting real crazy. My flaps one. TA. And then uh, it was what, 26.3. Was up 0 0.5, so somewhere around there. Two engine taxi, so the AP will come off. App start checklist engine anti ice is off, yellow electric pump is off, rotor trim is zero, app start checklist is complete. Let's rock and roll. <coughs> Buffalo traffic, Phoenix 2541 is taxiing from the cargo ramp over to uh, runway 23, Buffalo. Now after World Update 10, I feel like my frames have gotten a little less as good. <laughs> Brain exploding. <coughs> yeah, he's got this. Nobody said it was easy, but he's got it. And since we're not flying on a pilot's life, I get to do whatever I want. I don't have to worry about getting dinged or nothing like that.
Buffalo traffic. Phoenix 2541 crossing runway 5 at Foxtrot, Buffalo. Get all them lights on. And we'll start our mini brief as soon as we get around this turn. Alrighty, mini brief gross weight is uh, 126.6 compared to the 115.1. So if we were at an airline, we would require an amendment for that. Probably get some new numbers just to double check our fuel. <coughs> uh, let's see, fuel on board is 11.2, flap config is 1 plus F, V speeds is 115 and 129. Our, uh, we're going to be departing on runway heading, and our first or initial altitude is 5,000. Flight controls check. Got full up, full down, neutral. Buffalo traffic, Phoenix 2541 crossing runway 1432, Buffalo. Full left, full right, neutral rudder. Full left, full right, neutral. Flight controls checks complete. Cool. <coughs> Before takeoff checklist to the line, gross weight comparison peak pitch trim is 26.3% CG set, V1, VRV2 flex, 115, 129, 129 flex, 67. Uh, flaps config 1 plus F, flight instruments check, flight controls check, e memo takeoff all green, ECAM status check, winters on auto, TCAS code set, TAR, ECAM cruise of eyes, many briefs complete before takeoff checklist above the line is complete. <laughs> Yeah, definitely worse frame rates since World Update 10. Hopefully, Sim Update 10 with DLSS makes frames a very smooth. Coming in August. Not really sure why it likes to point ahead, or what the hell it's even looking at. Nope. Yes. Nope. Not that either. I don't know. We'll just try that. I don't know what it's focused on, but it's not the airplane. Alright, we'll hold short right here. Death parking brakes. <coughs> B4, takeoff checklist below the line. Takeoff runway, runway 23 is confirmed. Fuel, min required is 9.9. .9. We've got 11.1 .1 on board. Engine mode selectors, normal bleed packs are set. Before takeoff checklist, below the line is complete. Ready to go. Y'all ready to go? Let's go on out of here. Buffalo traffic. Phoenix 2541. Departing off runway 23. Going to exit the airspace to the southwest. Buffalo.
Nothing like some runway approach lights in the middle of the runway. On a payware scenery. We'll just ignore that. All right, runway heading is uh, runway or is a uh, two thirty-five. So let's put that in there. There we go. Pull it. Get that flight director to get where we want it, and let's rock and roll. Yeah, see, it's not not following me at all. This ain't turning out very good. Let's yeah, let's just come over here. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's stand them up. See, this is not going good. Rotates. All right, we'll fly the airplane. <laughs> Acceleration altitude, nose down, looking for positive trend on the airspeed. We got it. Thrust climb, open climb. Above S speed, so now we can go flaps up. And that or this all right flaps are up so that means after takeoff checklist landing gears up flaps retracted bleed pack set apu is off after takeoff checklist is complete we'll level off here at 5000 Pilot one, and then we'll tell the airplane, let's go direct. <coughs> Buffalo traffic, Phoenix 2541 is clear, runway 23 exiting airspace to the southeast, or southwest, Buffalo. All right, we'll just go straight up to our final cruise, 31, open climb. Thrust climb, open climb, 31 blue. 31 blue. Forty-one damn minutes to get off the ground. Now we're gonna try on the next next leg. We're gonna try to actually make the leg. Uh, girlfriend wasn't very happy that I was on the computer until 9 o'clock last night. I don't think it was even that late, actually. But <clears throat> she was a little irritated. So I'll try to get off a little bit sooner tonight. I think she's home around 7.30 Eastern Time. So we're definitely going to be racing the clock. I feel like you are much higher in the Airbus than in the 73. It's because you are. Cockpit definitely sits a little bit higher <clears throat> in the Airbus than the 73. <laughs> oh. My dog is um, 
My dog's just like standing at the doorway, staring at me, like wanting in. But the other dog is laying in the doorway, and she can't get in because of that. Alright, it's me one sec. I'm gonna uh, let the dogs out real fast. They haven't been out since they ate, so I'm sure they need to poop. And uh, I'm gonna be right back at it. One sec. All right, we back. Bow. <clears throat> Eight fifty five, it is then. What you mean, Drew?
about time for another drink. Hillbilly, if you're still here, <clears throat> you still having your drinks? Hillbilly and I did a, a couple flights together earlier. Wisconsin's getting pounded with weather. Oh. <laughs> yep, 8.55 sounds good. I don't remember what time it was. I got off last night, but I was... I did go get food after... And uh, I got her a salad. She wasn't, like, her stomach was hurting her last night, so I didn't think she was going to want to cook or eat, and I figured she would just kind of, like, lay in bed and keep to herself. Um, so when I got done, of course, she was texting me the whole time. I didn't know because I wasn't looking because I didn't care. But she was texting me and was like, oh, are, you, uh, are you done yet? What are you going to do for food? Duh, 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 duh. So uh, anyways, I got done. I went and asked her how she was doing can I get anything for her? no but then I'm like alright well, I'm gonna go to Zaxby's and get some food oh well, get me something you just said you didn't want nothing but um got her a salad and they forgot her dressing and so then she got mad at me for not checking so today she's like are you gonna be on your computer again until 9 o'clock after I get home I'll be on my computer as long as I want fool Grown ass man. Ryan Hall is active, or is live, or whatever you want to call it. We'll see what kind of stuff they got going on. Go ahead, they're chasing that weather up in Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, the old you didn't check line. That's, dude, I get that line every single time. She says I have guy eyes. Or man eyes like I don't I can't see anything like I, I'll go into the kitchen or into the fridge to find something and like it's right in front of me but I don't see it those are man eyes according to her oh nice chase round trip midway to Cleveland nice that's what like maybe an hour long flight or so Guess that makes all of us can't see past your nose is what my mom used to call it. Yep. Pretty much the same thing. Same thing. Anybody else got some flying plans tonight? I want to try to stream tomorrow. May not be able to. I got a lot of stuff to do. I got to get a haircut. Got to mow the yard. And wash some clothes, get ready for the work week.
getting hungry too. <clears throat> Crystal is planning on cooking for me tonight, so I guess for that I could be off the computer. For this flight, I did turn off the um, FS Realistic or whatever it's called. I don't really know how I feel about it. It takes a lot of tuning, and you'd have to do a lot of flying to tune it correctly, and then it changes with every single airplane. There are profiles that you could load, but... We'll just go with it. You'll definitely see a lot more camera shaking. I'm not really sure where that camera shaking's coming from. Well, the wing's moving, so maybe we're in some little bit of mountainy wave type stuff as we fly over these. What is this, the Appalachians? Hell, if I know. Two fifty three quarter mile the men's on this approach. <coughs> I guess we'll go ahead and draw out our uh, range ring and ex extended center line. Uh, K C R W do a seven mile range ring. It is a three degree standard glide slope after that do camco you always want to draw it off of your uh, final approach fix if you do the airport it might just be offset a little bit <clears throat> we don't want that and then we'll get the opposite direction for the radial so instead of five it's going to be 23 which is a heading of 233 so we'll throw that into the radial and then that will draw out the center line which that looks a little bit weird Uh, that's not right. It should be coming out this way. We're landing on five. Two, two, oh, two, three, three. What I put in? Oh, that's why. Two, three, three. I guess I didn't read one of my threes. There we go. Now that looks correct. So we'll get to HVQ and we'll just fly the downwind. And we'll vector ourselves. Looks good to me. That looks like a microburst. <clears throat> Storms again in the Midwest. Uh oh, yep. Well, that's typical summertime shit. Start getting a lot of dry air coming in from the west, meeting with the cooler, damper air coming in from the uh, east. They collide, kaboom, blow up along a cold front. And for any of those of y'all who were watching last night, uh, we were looking at uh, Volanta, and I was looking at the, the fronts last night. 
I was talking about that stationary front that was um, in the northern Midwest that I kind of felt like the weather was probably going to dissipate along the stationary front, not move very much, but on the cold front it would probably build. That's exactly what happened. And I think this is um, the weather that we're seeing tonight in the Midwest. This stuff is uh, probably remnants from yesterday's that's fired back up. And then last night also we were looking at that kind of weird line of weather that was through here last night. Uh, and just like I said it would, all that shit dissipated. Because it's just usually what it does. Ooh, we got some cells popping up around my house. It did look a little bit unstable last uh, a while ago when I walked outside to take the dogs out. I can't check Radar Omega since I'm on my phone. Ah. Uh. Well, it sounds like whatever practice you're at you need to leave go home get on a flight watch ryan hall y'all open radar omega watch my stream and forget practice a lot more than just heat is needed yeah the heat wave doesn't necessarily play a whole lot of a role um, although sometimes I do feel like it's so hot that it makes maybe the atmosphere kind of is a little bit drier so you get less uh, convectivity but for the most part heat's not really uh, the biggest factor oh you man pull the dad card kick them kids off that thing I'm glad you said that though Reason number 575,000 why not to have kids so they can't get on your PC. Or have to just buy them their own, which I also don't want to do. If I'm buying any PC stuff, you bet it's for mine. It ain't going to be for them. They're going to be too busy cleaning and cutting grass. <coughs> learning life skills before they get on my PC. I don't know, it's kind of funny. Um, my company gives us four flight on our EFB. Not really us specifically, but <clears throat> for everybody who's got an EFB, pilots and dispatchers, um, they have four flight. Pilots use four flight a lot. And some pilots even buy the little transponder uh, and they can use it in flight. If I was a pilot, I absolutely would spend that extra money on the transponder to get that thing because it can definitely help with the situational awareness. But <clears throat> they were running out of licenses um, for the pilots, and they figured if they took 100 away, 100 licenses from us and dispatch and give them to the pilots, then you know pilots would have it's a 100, 100 more. So they're supposed to take them away from us. Supposedly they already have but I still got mine. Which I'm glad. Because I like it for flight sim. <laughs> they just got home from camping for three days. Ah, uh, yeah, so I bet they're aching for some technology. I wish I'd go camping. I like camping. I ain't gonna camp in Florida, though. Where everything's a daggum reptile. expensive. It's 
why I would let the airline pay for it. So this is a pretty short flight. It's only uh, 53 minutes. Already not too far from our top of descent. Uh, so let's briefly talk about uh, the approach real fast. <clears throat> All right, so we are planning the ILS runway five. Approach frequency is 110.3. Final approach course is 52 degrees. Um, final approach fix is Canco at 2,900 feet. Decision height is 250 off the ground. Touchdown zone elevation is 947. Uh, it's a standard 30 degree glass slope. Uh, we have approach lights, Pappy on the left. If we go miss, we'll climb to 1800, then a climbing left turn to 3500 direct HVQ. So we'll hard tune that. Minimums for this approach 250, three quarter mile. And the current weather is winds 210 at 6, 10 statute miles, few at 4000, temperatures 33, dew point 23, altimeters 306. So weather's no factor. Uh, we'll be in mountainous terrain. So terrain will be a factor, so we'll get that turned on. For runway 5, we have high intensity runway lights, center line lights, approach lights, Pappy on the left. It is 3 degrees on the Pappy. It's grooved, RVR is reporting, and from the glide slope, we have 5,656 feet of runway. It's 150 feet wide. So we're going to go auto brake medium. Hopefully we don't overheat the brakes, because we're going to try to turn around and get out of there as quickly as we can. Once we land, it's going to be a right turnoff down here at Alpha 1 or Alpha, and uh, we'll taxi our way over into, oh man, FBO is all the way down here. Screw it. We are going to the West Virginia Air National Guard ramp, park there, get everything back going again, and get on out. If the winds are less than 10 knots, We'll probably just depart off runway 5 with a slight tailwind. We'll make sure just to be light. I mean, it's a ACJ, right? So we would expect to be light. So, with all of that said, we'll arm our ILS push buttons. Auto brake medium. Terrain is on. And let's get 117.4. Uh, Hard tuned. And that'll be for the missed approach. Muy bueno. Severe thunderstorm warning. Severe, severe. I wonder if I open up another YouTube. Let's see. Live plane spotting. How many... Uh, of course, LA is live. Oh man, it takes one away and it replaces with the other one. What would y'all rather watch? Live plane spotting or weather? I'll let y'all choose. Uh, 26 minutes out from Cleveland already. Nice. I ain't sending no. Shut up. Private flight, fool. I still haven't figured that out. <clears throat> I heard fire, firefight was giving out subscriptions. Oh, Forflight was giving out subscriptions for setting up a thing for whatever it's called, a ADSB something. Okay, yeah, it's ADSB. Um, all aircraft, at least all scheduled Part 121 operations now are required to have ADSB. Allows ATC to um, see you see the flights in uh, real time, more than like back in the days when it was all radar. They'd only see them like every few seconds. Now it's like 
they send them quick. Um, I think, uh, oh, look at that, A340 on approach. Um, what's their name? Silver Airways operates, uh, they used to operate Saab 340s out to the Bahamas. Uh, the Saab 340 wasn't capable of ADSB, so they had to get rid of all the Saabs. And uh, now they operate ATRs. That's a big ass airplane. It'd be cool to have one of those for uh, Microsoft. Time for another drink. Oh, hey, dog. I didn't know you were there. What you doing, Macy? Do, 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 do. Alright, I don't want another Corona. What do I have? A Vita, Ranch Water, and some other IPA. I'm going to try the IPA. Hot up in here. Lufthansa. Oh, yeah, that's a good beer. Thirty five Hondo. Here we go, coming down, coming on down. I wonder if that's Sky West or Republic. Could really be about either one. It's kind of crazy too like if y'all ever watch these channels and you watch the the chat there's quite a number of uh ladies in the chat you don't see them as much like in flight sim stuff like that it'd be kind of cool to see more more chicks in flight sim it's a sausage fest over here Let's check out a little bit of uh, Radar Omega, see what's out here by the house. So my house is right here. we got some little pop-ups, little popcorn cells. As of right now, looks to be no factor. Everything's kind of drifting to the west. Orlando looks to be getting hit a little bit. Let's pull up some uh, Orlando weather, shall we? Oh, okay. Wind 050 at 15, gusting 19, 10 statue miles, light rain and thunderstorms, few clouds at 2200, scattered at 4200, cumulonimbus clouds, broken at 7000, overcast 13. That's a lot of weather, or a lot of uh, cloud layers. Temperatures 31, 3.24, altimeters 3003, lightning distant north and south and southwest. Lightning in cloud and cloud to ground. 
little old thunderstorm. Too bad we're not going to Orlando. That'd be kind of fun to fly in. Atlanta's uh, got some sails all around them as well. Probably see some uh, towering cumulonimbus or some CBs in theirs. K A T L. Retar, yes. Let's see. Zero, zero, 007, 10 such miles. Thunderstorms scattered at 6,000 CBs. Blah, blah, blah. Occasional lightning in cloud, cloud to ground, south and southwest. Thunderstorms south, southwest, moving west. CBs south, southwest, distant, all quadrants, moving west. Towering cumulonimbus. All quads. Looks about right, according to Volanta. So you got thunderstorms pretty much in all quadrants. And that's what we're looking at for Orlando. South Florida's looking pretty. Virgin America. Maybe we should have been flying into Madison, Wisconsin. That'd be kind of cool. Let's see who this is. They keep it zoomed in. We'll probably be able to see what airline this is. It'll be right on the nose of the airplane. Okay, quit zooming out, dude. I uh, couldn't tell. Oh, that's SkyWest. Tell by the registration number. Well, it might be a little bit windy out there. Oof. 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 It was looking good at first, and then he just set it down. Alright, there's transition. <coughs> Current weather. Still the same. 306 on the altimeter. Probably another Sky West. Chief, what's up, dude? Welcome aboard again. Happy to see you here. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. Came in at a pretty good time. We are on short final. Uh, not short final. We are on approach into uh, uh, Charleston, West Virginia. So with that said, I think it's about time we do approach checklist. So real quick. Let's get those seatbelt signs on. Status page check. All is normal. And let's see our landing uh, elevation. Oh, yeah, I got it right here. 947, so it's 1947. All right. <clears throat> Approach checklist. Briefing is complete. Approach stable by 1947 feet. Ecom status check. Seatbelt signs are on. Minimums 250 is set. Uh, engine any ice one and two is off altimeters 3006 is set approach checklist is complete So Chief, what you up to today, man? 
What's going on? <clears throat> Oh, got another big boy. Ooh, A350. Muy sexito. <coughs> hmm. Trying to figure out who that is before they get too close. I want to say an Asian carrier, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Asiana Airlines. Man, it's such a pretty airplane. Wrong button. <laughs> Wrong button again. Let's <laughs> help her get slowed down, get them spoilers out. Oh, 747. That's like an 800. Or I mean, dash 8. Not 800. Dash 8. Alright, blow 10. Man, I bet it's something else to taxi an airplane that big. Should see the airport out there somewhere. There it is. Yeah, so this was a mountain. And they basically shaved off the top of the mountain. Why did that freeze? No, we'll just get rid of it. They shaved off the top of the mountain and built an airport right there. And so once we cross HVQ, we'll go into heading mode, fly the downwind, get parallel to uh, shoal, and then uh, turn direct shoal, be on the approach.
All right, HVQ. Heading mode. Alright, now we'll turn direct. Hopefully we're not too high. Direct shoal. Insert. And we're right about where we want to be. We'll manage it. Descent. Nav. That'll help to start bleeding off some of that airspeed. And we're V and E plus 10. So we'll go flaps 1. This is a very pretty place to live. The mountain, the mountain waves kind of messing with us a little bit. <clears throat> Let's dial her down to 170. We'll stay 170 to 7 miles. V and E plus 10. So we'll go flaps 2. Glide slopes alive, we'll arm the approach. Loke's alive. This approach altitude is 3,500 feet. So once we get established on the ILS, we'll dial that in. Approach phase is activated. I'm going to turn heading mode so it'll hurry up and get to that localizer. And it won't capture the glide slope until the localizer is captured. So that's going to possibly cause us some problems. Alright, glide slope, star, loc, star, so we're good there. 3500. Glide slope, look, speed, glide slope, localizer, cat three dual, autopilot one and two. Crossing that seven mile mark, we'll go manage speed. 
gear down. Armor spoilers. B and E plus 10, so we'll go flaps three. And flaps full. Cleared land, I guess. <clears throat> Charleston, West Virginia, traffic, Phoenix 2541, six mile final, runway five, Charleston. Alrighty, landing checklist. <clears throat> landing checklist, cabin crew is advised, auto thrust, speed, auto brakes, medium, ECAM, memo, landing, all green, landing checklist complete. Alright, so I, I spy with my little eye. Uh, and a problem <laughs> the airport is like over there and we're not like the ILS is way off so we're gonna have to hand fly this Man, it's way off <clears throat> like 20 degrees No wonder the uh, airplane wasn't like getting over to the localizer fast enough. Rebecca, what is up? Welcome back. Happy to see you here. Came in at just the right time. All right, we're gonna make sure that we get this one down right about where we want it because we don't want to float at all on this really short runway. No issue, just a big old mountain right here on approach. Continue. 40, 30, 20, retard, 5. You know what they say, good landing is landing you can walk away from. <laughs> How's FS, uh, realistic, or whatever it's called. Spoilers, reverse green, decel. That was a little firm. But uh, airports like this, you have to make it firm. You can't float. You're not shooting for nice and smooth. You're shooting for uh, enough landing distance to actually stop the airplane. Charleston traffic, Phoenix 2541's clear runway 5, Phoenix, or uh, Charleston. Yeah, frame rate's definitely gotten worse since <coughs> that last update. Alright, let's clean it up. Alright, landing, or uh, after landing checklist, exterior lights are set, flaps retracted, T-cast is standby, engine mode selectors, normal ground spoilers are disarmed, radar pre wind shear is off. After landing checklist complete.
If you'll see all that shaking and stuff, the cockpit, that is FS realistic. <clears throat> I just finished a flight from Washington to Boston. Nice. Which uh, which airport in Washington did you depart from? <laughs> D.C. or Dulles? We're just going to park over here. The Air National Guard. <coughs> the C-130s. Coming out of here, we're going to do a... Um, a max power takeoff when the toga packs off the whole nine yards. Real life, you'd get in so much trouble for doing this. Okie doke. APU is available. Set the parking brakes. Shut down the engines. Beacon off. Seatbelt signs off. Fuel pumps come off. Leave the APU on. Keep that AC going. We had a uh, landing rate of negative 281 on that one, which I will totally take that. Totally fine with uh, the runway length on this airport. And let's get set up for uh, our next flight. We're going to have to roll through this one fast. Deboard, sure. Golly, man, like this. Really bad frames. Cool. All right, uh, let's see. Mass and balance. Let's get a. Uh, set up on VATSIM. Connected there. Start a new flight. Add flight plan. Let's set up. Let's do the overlay. Uh, where are we going? Myrtle Beach. There we go. That is set. Everybody's almost off the airplane. We'll be ready to load back up and carry all these rich folks to wherever it is they want to go. Charts, which would be Myrtle, because that's where we're going. So I've got roughly an hour to complete this flight. Dulles, okay. Nice. Have you ever tried uh, landing in uh, D.C., doing like the river visual to 1-9, uh, I believe it is? It's a pretty fun approach. Load aircraft. We'll do two minutes, <clears throat> and let's rock and roll. Init, come over here, go to Atsu, AOC menu, flight init, initialize here. Uh, we are Phoenix 2542 on this one. Cost index 99. 27,000 feet. Temperature at 27 is... Uh, where is it at? Minus 26. Flight plan. Charleston. Departure. 
Uh, we're part off of. Probably just keep it on five. Yeah, we'll stay on five. No Sid. Insert Myrtle Beach. <coughs> Arrival. Planning on one eight. No star. Insert. Uh, let's see. Next, secondary. Copy secondary. Our engine out. Eh. Want to do it? Let's clear this. Receive messages. We got a load sheet. One of the Four point no sound right. Is that right? Yeah, one oh four point three. Nope, wrong one. All oh, this is probably gonna change. Lock fuel. Me 12 200 for taxi, no route reserve, no alternate. And uh, reserve is going to be 3.3. Aircraft is loaded. I think of this. Hang on, what, uh, let me make sure this, oh wait, it's just, never mind, I have the same zero fuel weight from the last, on purpose. Cool. Five, dry, we're gonna go flaps to toga, packs off, calculate that, arrival message, we don't care about that. Load sheet 104.5 is the actual with a 08 CG of 27.6. And then our uh, takeoff CG is 26.9, so we'll keep that in the back of our brains. Pretty much 27. Flaps 2 up 0 0.4. Flex temp of uh, none 16, 24, 27. Cool. Alright, all that is set. Flight director's constraints, flight director's constraints. Make our initial climb. This will come on. Up to nine thousand. See about signs on, bleed can come on. Get all that on. Get rid of all this stuff. Parking brake is set. Sweet. <clears throat> uh, before start checklist, maintenance log and tails, onboard check, copper preps, complete gear pins, covers are removed, signs are on, auto aiders are now. Fuel min required is 10.5. We've got uh, 12 on board. Um, altimeters 3006 is set, EFB is checked, windows doors and slides closed and armed. Beacon is on, thrust service idle, parking brakes on, transponder is in auto. Before takeoff checklist, or before start checklist, all the way is complete. All right, let's get these engines started and get on out of here. Man, I don't know what it is about this airport, but it is killing my frame rates. <clears throat> I 
Rebecca's got cows. That is awesome. I love cows. Cows are super cool. Horses are better, but I, I do like cows. Chase, negative 169 into Cleveland. Nice. Very nice. gets to this line it'll say available there it is rolling number two I'm ready to get out of here <coughs> I'm tired of these firm rates airport heading is 053 Kill that FS realistic thing. It's probably not helping the frames at all. <laughs> and we almost got a good start. Available. Engine mode selector normal. Arm spoilers reset rudder trim. Flaps two. TA twenty seven percent. About there. Two engine taxis will kill the APU. Uh, see, takeoff runway is going to be runway uh, five. Our gross weight is one sixteen point four. Planned is uh, one fifteen point seven. Uh, see, fuel on board is 12,000. Flat config is 2 plus F. V speeds, we're looking at uh, 116, 127 with a flex of no flex. Initial altitude is 9,000 feet. Uh, we're going to depart on runway heading of 053. Departure brief is complete. Flight controls check, full up, full down, neutral, full left, full right, neutral rudder, full left. Full right, neutral flight controls checks complete. Just getting this stuff done. It's gonna be a really short taxi. This is the before takeoff flow. Come on now, push that button. There we go. Spoilers are armed, and we are ready to go. <coughs> Charleston traffic, Phoenix 2542, taxiing over runway five from the Air National Guard ramp. Charleston. Frames, ugh. Not a fan, not a fan. It's definitely a cool little airport. Jaeger Airport. I wonder if this is where Jaegermeister is made. Oh shit.
<laughs> nothing to see here guys uh, that was the entrance to the runway right here so you know Charleston traffic Phoenix 25 42's back taxi in runway 5 Charleston So it is a little bit of a tailwind, but we're pretty light, so it should be okay. Oh, I guess there is an entrance down here. I didn't see it on the chart. No, actually, I guess that was it. This ain't much of a turnaround. Charleston traffic, Phoenix 2542, lining up runway 5. We're we'll departing the airspace to the southeast. Charleston. Man, like as soon as you face the airport, frame rates just die. All right. <clears throat> Before takeoff checklist, gross weight compressed complete pitch trim is 26.9% CG set. V1 VR for V2 flex is 116, 124, 127, no flex. Uh, flaps config 2, flight instruments are checked, flight controls are checked. Ecom memo takeoff all green, Ecom status is checked. Prediction winches on auto, TCAS, code set, TRA, Ecom cruise advised, memory brief complete. Takeoff runway is runway 5, fuel uh, 10.5 is required. 10.9 uh, is what we have on board. Actually, no, it's not. What is it? 11.7. It's on board. Uh, engine mode selectors, normal bleed packs are set. Before takeoff checklist, all the way is complete. Here we go. Those packs off. Man, Toga SRS heading auto thrust blue. A not star set. V one. Positive rate. Gear up. Disarm the spoilers. Finally back into some better frame rates. Alrighty, acceleration altitude. Positive trend on the airspeed. Thrust climb, open climb. And let's go direct. GZG Go autopilot one so I can work these flaps nav Flaps one And we're above S speed so we can go Flaps up. Flaps up. After takeoff checklist. Landing gears up. Flaps retracted. Bleed packs set. APU is off. After takeoff checklist is complete.
Second leg is underway. And we're going to skip all this GCG, GZG stuff. We're just going to go straight to Florence. Shave off a little bit of time. Speed Alt Star. Let's keep it going. Charleston traffic. Uh, Phoenix 2542 is clear. Runway 5 exiting the airspace to the southeast. Final call. Charleston. Twenty seven is our final. Thrust climb, open climb, twenty seven blue, twenty seven blue. Ten thousand. Pretty out here, ain't it? Doing, old girl. Let's go ahead and get those lines drawn. Fix info K M Y R. And uh, seven miles. Let's do five miles on this one. Make it a little more challenging. Final approach fix is going to be Bevet. And a radial 357. Also, go ahead and get some arrival data put in. Perf, we're looking at uh, 111, or 110 rather, at 6. Uh, 30, 08, and 28 on the temp. Minimums on this approach is going to be 200. Now let's see how uh, everything's going to look when we get to Florence. So at Florence we can just go direct Uxdep. We'll leave it open for now just in case ATC does come online, takes over. They'll want to vector us. <clears throat> I just wanted to make sure that Florence wasn't too close that so we end up making some weird turn or something like that. Standard, standard, standard. Get some more live LA footage. I 
I'm not sure why their feet is doing this. There it goes. I closed another YouTube window, then it smoothed out. Air France. Bonjour. It's a big ass airplane. <clears throat> Elevator shaking. Horizontal stabilizer. Give me those sticks. <laughs> What's up? Welcome aboard. I uh, I don't know if you were still able to be around yesterday for the actual landing after the go around. So I, I put in chapters in yesterday's uh, episode so that you can um, quickly go to the landing so you can see it. Uh, I don't think yesterday I redeemed myself. So hopefully today I am. Um, we just went to uh, Charleston, West Virginia. That was a cool little approach. Should check that out. The uh, ILS is messed up, so it was about 20 degrees off course, so we had to disconnect autopilot early and kind of hand fly it over. Um, very short runway, about 5,600 feet from uh, the glide slope, and uh, we, we made a little bit of a firm landing because obviously on a runway that short, you want to get it on within the landing zone. You don't want to float it. Because then you're going to um, run out of uh, landing distance available. So we put it down about 280 feet per minute uh, right on the touchdown zone and uh, gave ourselves plenty of, plenty of time to stop. Uh, but it was, a, it was a pretty cool looking approach. There are some mountains like right on the approach. So if, um, if you'd like, you can replay back to that. I think it's worth watching. Now we're headed to Myrtle. Myrtle is in, uh, what is it? Is it north or south? Myrtle is in uh, South Carolina. Should be about a quick little 45-minute uh, flight. Already at cruise. Single runway. So we're gonna be going uh, flying right at the coast. And uh, nope, looks like the visibility is pretty good. This is LA that we're watching. Uh, let's see the current visibility in LA. Ten statue miles. Winds are 240 at 12, 10 statue miles, few at 1200, temperatures 22, temperature or a dew point at 16, all temperatures 2981. Alright, Rebecca, have a good one. Hope your cows are doing well. Tell your cows I said hello. <laughs> Must be a cowgirl. Well, have a great day, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow if we get a stream in. Tomorrow night, I do work, um, so I've got to get a haircut tomorrow. I've got to get some clothes washed. Uh, I've got a few things to take care of around the house before going to work tomorrow night. So we may or may not be able to stream, but we'll, I'm going to try my best. I typically do.
on Thursdays. Oh, 7.5. Love that airplane. Yeah, don't they? We'll shrink this out so you can see more of them. I believe those are the Appalachian Mountains. Or maybe the Smokies. I'm not sure. I've hiked the Smokies. And uh, when we were on approach into Charleston, we were definitely getting kicked around with uh, uh, some mountain wave. Made it a little bit challenging on the initial approach. They're not challenging because APU was, or the uh, autopilot was uh, online flying the plane for us then. Seven thirty seven seven hundred. <laughs> the true flying pencil, yep. Now, I don't know if that, I think that was a two hundred that was taxiing out. The three hundred is the flying pencil. The two hundred is a little bit shorter, it's not as long, so they don't I don't think folks refer to that one as a flying pencil. Let's see, when it turns sideways, I'll be able to tell. Yeah, that's a 200. It's a little bit shorter than the 300. The 300 is almost obnoxiously long. Do the clouds look, or did they get bad with yesterday's update? Uh, you know, that's so hard to say. It's it, the Clouds are very subjective, right? I, I did watch a... Um, I watched a, a World Update 10 um, video on YouTube, and that's one of the things they talked about was they felt like after Sim Update, I think five, the clouds started like looked worse. Um, so then, over time, the person in the video says they think that the clouds have been getting better over time. Um, but to me, that kind of like they've always looked about the same. Ooh. So I really wish we could get an A220. I know there's a free one in development, but I would like a high fidelity, like really nice A220. I'm itching to learn the A220. That's a good looking airplane. Ooh, 350, I don't know if that's a 900 or a 1,000. It looks like a 1,000. Let's see if I can find out. What do we got? Give me those sticks, just subscribe. Awesome, dude, I appreciate you subscribing. Welcome aboard to the Wrong Side Simulations family. Very happy to have you with us. And uh, as always, feel free to join the Discord. Um, relatively often, myself and um, other folks in the Discord will do little group flights and stuff like that. Like today, myself and um, Hillbilly Gypsy, who you'll see in the chat every now and then, um, him and I did a, a round trip out of Atlanta to Panama City today. Um, so join the Discord if you like, and we can always fly together. And if you want to directly reach out to me, you can. If you got any flight requests, that kind of stuff. Uh, absolutely feel free to reach out. What is my password on this thing? Oh yeah, because I discontinued my subscription.
Ugh, stupid, it's not gonna tell me. All right, flight aware, or flight radar, where you at? Yep, so that is an Airbus A350-1000, longest one they make so far. <coughs> Can't wait for the flyby. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm excited about it. I've never really flown an A380, so that'll be really cool. Um, and also, it'll be nice, too, to like fly an airplane I'm not super familiar with. That way, I won't be able to nitpick it and be like, oh, that's not real, that's not real, da 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 da, -da. Um, EQ in the chat, Jay, if he's still watching, uh, I, of everybody that I know, he is the most excited for the A380. Let's see where we're looking on our top of descent. We are just about halfway through the flight. If you are ever flying an Airbus and you see ETP, that is the halfway mark of the flight. And get some of that rumble turned down a little bit. It's a little bit loud in my head. Well, maybe one day, when I get a job with uh, Delta in a pilot's life, we'll be flying a 7675. We won't fly just about every license that I can obtain and that I have airplanes for. Mm -hmm. 
Jack Center is online, so as we get close to Florence, uh, we will have ATC online to chat with. Check centers on thirty five nine twenty five. Uh, so this is my my good buddy Shaq, Shaquille Oatmeal. Um, <clears throat> I used to fly a lot of X-Plane, and X-Plane was very new to me not too long ago because I didn't really have... <laughs> this man, this man, 
I didn't have any good airplanes um, in Microsoft yet. So I went to X-Plane, and he was a, a huge help in helping me get all that set up and going and learning it and that kind of stuff. So now I'm kind of – now the roles are kind of flipped. Now he's brand new to um, – to uh, Microsoft because he's always been an Xbox guy uh, so now I've kind of been helping him get set up in Microsoft and kind of repaying the favor but he's, he's a good friend of mine super good dude uh, very very down to earth working on his instrument rating right now and uh, he's aiming to eventually one day be a Delta pilot so uh, yeah Um, yeah, he he, uh, he he posts a lot of good content. He does a lot of X-Plane stuff, flies um, a lot of airplanes that I don't have, like the A340, A310, stuff like that. Um, very interactive with, with his followers as well. Uh, so if you want some, some more good uh, flight sim content, he's a great guy to go to. He is a uh, ramper in uh, ramper in Charlotte. Working his way up, which is also where I started my aviation career. Throwing bags and doing all that stuff. Where is the fan for the landing gear in the A320? So, this one actually doesn't have it. Um, if you see here, it would the button would be there to get it in the, uh, at least in the Phoenix. You go sim settings. We're going to go, let's see, let's just roll through these. Yeah, so airline modif modifiable information, and we'll turn brake fans on. I'm also turning this on. I'm going to turn all this on. Uh, but you turn brake fans on, and then that will give you the brake fan switch. So it's right here, <clears throat> and this will actually it'll pop up with a word at the top of the button that says hot in amber. And if you want to turn your brake fans on, you can click that on, and it'll help cool your fans off. Um when you park you'll if you have hot brake fan or if you have hot brakes when you park uh place your chalks and then release the parking brakes and that'll help accelerate your uh, cool off times in real life we also have um we'll put some uh air conditioning hoses or actually not air conditioning but we have like brake fan coolers that we put on there uh to accelerate the cooling of the brake fans All right, so we need to holler at ATC. I don't know where we're at. Um, close this. Land route. Got it, bro. Exit 184, welcome to Myrtle Beach, you can exit left with Able. Left with Able, uh, little 184. Jack Center, Phoenix 25. Oh wait, I gotta change this. Southwest 006, Jacksonville Center, welcome aboard. Jack Center, Phoenix 25, 42, uh, 25 miles to the northwest of Florence, VOR. At flight level 22,000. Phoenix 
2542 Jacksonville Center, good evening, Skunk 1043. 1043, Phoenix 2542. Phoenix 2542, radar contact as reported. You can Pilot's discretion to center maintain 10,000. 10,000, Phoenix 2542. 009. And we just got the altitude. What was the rest of that? Phoenix 2542. Phoenix 2542, Pilot's discretion to center maintain 10,000. The murder altimeter 3009. 3009, we'll descend maintain flight of 100, Phoenix 2542. Alright, got that. 3009. I wish this was like the 7.3. This is one of the few things that I wish Airbus did that 7.3 did. Um, in the Boeing, you could go ahead and start twisting this, and it'll put it in standby. So then when you pull it, it's already there. But you have to now, in the Airbus, you have to take it out of standard and then dial it in. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get some uh, arrival information. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm about to get busy. My flight. Alright, so under perf, make sure all this is still current. Uh, let see, altimeter is 3009. Temperature is 28, which is still there. Winds are 138. At 200 feet on the mins. And let's get a approach brief in real quick. Alright, <clears throat> we are planning the ILS runway 18. Approach frequency is 109.5, final approach course is 177, final approach fix is Bevin at 1600 feet, decision height is 200 feet off the ground, touchdown zone elevation is 23 feet. It's a standard 30 degree glide slope, approach lights, Pepe on the left, we go miss, we climb 800, and then make a climbing right turn 3000 on a 235 heading. We need 200 foot uh, ceilings, half mile visibility to shoot this approach, viz is good, no worries there. Uh, let's see, it's do this first on runway 18. We have high intensity runway, runway, uh, runway lights, approach lights, Pappy on the left, three degree glide slope, grooved RVRs reporting in 8,569 feet from the glide slope. It's 150 feet wide. Once we land, it's going to be a uh, left turnoff. We'll aim for Alpha 3. If we suck, we'll go Alpha 2. If we really, really suck, and let's. Direct. There we go. If we really suck, then we'll turn uh, Alpha 1. That's always a possibility. Uh, weather's no factor, terrain's no factor. Because it's an ILS, we'll arm our ILS push buttons. And we'll go auto brake low for this landing. Hello. The follow 77 Jacksonville Center, good evening. Hey man, I'm having all kind of internet problems. Um, uh, you all off me, so I'm sorry. I'm at 32,000, um, and uh, I'm direct nooks. But I, you know, honestly, I'm having trouble with my SIM, bro. I'll probably get disconnected. The follow 77 Roger, if you're having problems with your internet, it's probably going to be the best option for you there. Yeah, thanks. See ya. <laughs> Phoenix 2542, fly heading 130 vectors for the approach to center maintain 3000.
That was uh, for Phoenix 2542. Hey, Phoenix 2542, heading 130 vectors for the approach to send and maintain 3000. 130 on the heading, 3000 on the altitude, vectors for the final approach, Phoenix 2542. Open descent, heading 3000 blue. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, 310 is coming. I know. I'm so excited about that. And it's free. It's pretty. I, I would pay for it. I wouldn't mind. But that's just me. Uh, can you only turn it on if it says it's hot? No, you can turn it on without it being hot. It'll it'll turn on and you'll be able to hear them running outside. Uh, let's see. I would love to see you use those one day. Okay. In fact, uh, I had to use them today when uh came in from... When I landed in Panama City Beach, Florida, uh, I had to use them. I'm also a controller at ZLA. Oh, no shit. That's pretty awesome. I got a good buddy of mine that's a uh, Tracon controller in Salt Lake, as well as a uh, former dispatch uh, co-worker of mine and good friend. He's a uh, Tracon controller down in uh, Miami Center. So that's pretty awesome. Do you, uh, you ever do any of the VATSIM kind of stuff? Last thing I need is a real life controller watching how shitty I am on the radios. There's an ILS button. Uh, ILS button on what? Two one three Alpha Charlie, Jacksonville Center. Welcome aboard. Shallow out this descent. Getting down a little quick. Damn right it is. Oh, so you're you're saying you're a, a, a controller on Batsim, right? Not real life, but Batsim. Because I just put the two and two together that if you're in Florida, can't be a live controller in L.A. <laughs> what part of Florida are you in? I'm in, uh, I'm in Orlando, in the Orlando area. Yeah, I just figured that out. No worries. This guy's bringing me in a little shallow. Oh, Tampa, cool. I go over there every now and then. Um, have my computer built uh, over in Tampa by uh, Jetline Systems. I'm Phoenix 2542, the airfield at your 12 o'clock at about 1-8 miles. Report the airfield in sight. Roger, we'll report the airfield when we get in sight. Phoenix 2542. Let's see if we can see it yet. I don't see it just yet. Oh, got it. Got the approach lights. Phoenix 2542 has runway insight. Phoenix 2542, clear the visual approach, runway 18. Clear for the visual, runway 18, Phoenix 2542. 
<clears throat> Went plane spotting once there and saw. Oh, damn. That's pretty badass. Do you remember what airline it was? Probably Lufthansa, right? Can't wait to see 777 200 and A350 land there. I see triple sevens. I think I see the triple seven 300 just about every night right when I get to work. Uh, I don't think I've seen a 350 yet. Those might be more in the daytime since I work so late at night. All right, let's turn it zero nine zero. Go direct. Bevit. Approach mode, slower down to two hundred. Forty-three twenty-five, Jacksonville Center, read you loud and clear. VNE plus ten, go flaps one. And approach checklist. Briefings complete. Approach table by one thousand feet AGL. Ecom status is checked. E Seatbelt signs are on. Minimums two hundred set. Uh, engine analyst one and two is off. Altimeters thirty oh nine set. Approach checklist complete. Glide slope star. Look star. Twenty-five forty-two. The wind one three zero at eight. One way one eight. Clear to land. Clear to land. Runway one eight. Phoenix twenty-five forty-two. Speed. Glide slope. Localizer. Cat three dual. Autopilot one and two. Nine mile final. Let's dial it down to one seventy. Till seven miles. Correction. We'll do one seventy to five miles. That's what I got set. Well, we might have to go gear down a little bit sooner because we're not slowing down much. Yes, yeah, so we'll go ahead and go gear down. We've been cleared. Get those landing lights on. <coughs> I do. If, uh, if if you ever can't fly and you want to do the next best thing, absolutely look into dispatch. Dispatch is uh, it's a lot of fun at times. Other times it's brain-numbingly boring. At other times it's extremely stressful. This kind of depends on the day and the situation and what's happening. Sometimes your day starts off uh, pretty slow, and then like you'll have a quick burst of like all kinds of stuff happening, and then slows down again. See a lot of crazy stuff, medical emergencies, mechanical emergencies, all sorts of things. <laughs> Highly recommend it, and it pays pretty good. Alrighty, landing checklist. Cabin crews advised, auto thrust speed, auto brakes low, EKMMO, landing all green. Landing checklist is complete. We are stable. Delta 2816, contact Orlando Approach 124.8. Delta 2816, Four 
100 above. So my landing technique that I like to do is I like to aim at the piano keys just a little bit. Kind of coming in below the glide slope once I'm close to compensate for the flare. All right. 40, 30, 20, retard, five, A little bit over flare. Got caught in that ground effect pretty hard. Five. One thing I don't like about the Phoenix though is it's like you have no rudder authority. Nothing happens on the rudders until you get that nose wheel down. I was like hard right rudder, and it should have been. Three eight six Golf Jacksonville Center. Good evening. Clear to Kilo Lima Zulu Uniform Airport as filed. Maintain three thousand. Expect nine thousand. One zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency with me squawk one zero two zero. Number 386 golf, readback is correct. Uh, advise one ready for taxi, expect runway 36. Uh, no chase, no, uh, no go arounds this time. <laughs> Jack Center, Phoenix 2542 on the ground in uh, Myrtle. Delta 2816, Jacksonville Center, hello again. Climb maintain flight level 330. Phoenix 2542, you can taxi the ramp straight ahead on Alpha. Have a good night. Straight ahead on Alpha. Have a good night as well. Appreciate your help. Phoenix 2542. <laughs> Buttered that bread. Yeah, but floated pretty bad. And I'm. Uh, nope, did not. Um, so in the Airbus, at least based off of my company's SOPs, when you go gear down, you immediately arm spoiler. So. That's always the first thing I do. Gear down, spoilers armed, and then flaps three. November 386 Golf, runway 36, taxi via Alpha 7, Alpha, Alpha 13. It's kind of a procedural thing. Makes it uh, easier to not miss. I'll tell you what. Um, we're going to disconnect and replay that one. So let's go disconnect. Let's go flaps full on the spoilers. Kind of get everything back how it was for the landing. Hopefully this works. All right, now let's try the landing load. Kind of let everything get synchronized a bit. Yes, we floated this one pretty good. I'm sure we got a good landing rate. But uh, in real pilots would be more concerned about where they're touching down in the touchdown zone than they would be how smooth they're touching down. As long as it's not as long as it's not, you know, slamming it on the ground, they would rather put it in the uh, in the touchdown zone. I think that's a bird. Yeah, those are birds up there.
And my girlfriend's home. <coughs> Bella, lay down. One thing I want to see, if, if it shows how much I was kicking the rudder. I felt like I was kicking the rudder pretty hard. Big old float. Uh, you don't see it moving at all. It's not until you get on the ground that then it finally starts to kick over. Hush. Oh, dogs. Stop. Damn. Dogs. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, and I, when I was letting the nose come down, I tried not to just like let go and just let it, so I kind of like let it come down fast and then caught it right before it touched down again, so it wouldn't be a super hard slim. Man, these dogs. All right, guys, well, <laughs> spoilers are up. That is going to do it for today's stream. I greatly appreciate everybody that came around and come to uh, hang out with me today. I'm going to try to get a stream in tomorrow, but i got a lot to do, uh, get ready for work and start my work week. Um, but nonetheless, thank you to everybody who came along on today's streams. And uh, make sure to ring that notification bell button so that you know anytime I'm going to go uh, streaming. And uh, sometimes over the next probably week or so, I'll, I'm probably my streams will be in the morning time. Just because I get off early in the morning, have a little bit of energy to burn. So I'll usually burn my energy by doing a quick uh, hour, hour and a half long stream and then hitting the bed. So anyways, guys, thanks so much. Give me those sticks. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing. Appreciate you. Hopefully I can talk to you sometime soon on the radios. That'd be pretty cool. You'll have to let me know. Uh, join the Discord. Let me know like when you're going to be um, on the radios. And I'll jump into uh, LA Center and come chat with you. So, anyways, guys, have a great one. Hope y'all have a great night, and uh, until the next one, we'll see y'all soon. Oh yeah, and real quick, that landing rate was negative uh, 49 feet per minute. Uh, in the Discord, I don't have those command things, um, but Discord should be in the uh, description. Um, see if I can get you a link real quick, just in case there's not. remember how to do this. <clears throat> ah, here we go. Alright, here is a link. Copy that in there. And uh, you'll be good to go, my friend. Alright, we'll see y'all on the next one.